beloved friends. It is easier for you to know yourself when you are still more often. Spending a little time in stillness, regularly, can greatly assist you in coming into sovereign alignment. When you are still, you allow yourself to settle in a very deep way. So we're speaking of being still, without an agenda, without things to do. Letting yourself be present and notice what is around you and yet, kind of merge with the moment with no ideas about later, or next, or before, or anything other than just being still. To be in stillness like this is a living meditation. To be in a moment like this and in this way, you can tune to the vastness you are. In this way, you become receptive through your alignment, and you are deeply nourished like when you sleep. Now then. The time is here for those of you ready to step into your divine identity as creator gods. You came here because you knew this would be a time of transformation and you wanted to participate. All of your experience has led you to this perfect now. Now you have all that you need to do this, you simply embrace your innate abilities and step into them. The world around you is thriving. A lot is happening all the time and the variety in play is only going to expand. What you notice, what you include in your sights, your attention is entirely up to you and this choice is your freedom. As a creator god, you understand that all you pay attention to continues. You further all you pay attention to because you support it, energetically, with your focus. As you live, you discover your capacity to be in and with life as consciousness. You find your ability to be in life as consciousness. There is an expansive wisdom to you. A vast and knowing aspect within your wholeness integrates everything and holds it all in knowing as unity. This unity gives rise to the experience of harmony. This vast intelligence that effortlessly arranges all diversity, organizes the connections and correspondences within infinite levels and spheres of creation in ways that are beautiful. This orchestration is a natural aspect of the innate intelligence of life. It requires no effort, no work to create this harmony. There is only expansive intelligence knowing and creating, and unity expressing over and over again creating endless variations of beauty, everywhere. So you see, you can tune to this underlying stability, the unity that is intrinsic in the way life is, and orient to the harmony and see the beauty of it all. It's here. Each moment is abundant and resplendent with this innate unity that can be felt as beauty, like harmony, as the poetry of the moment displaying itself to you, gloriously. So there is that experience of life, and there are countless others. That experience feeling the innate radiant well-being of all that is, can also become personal as you notice too, that which you love. Your love of particular things, enriches this intelligence and gives the expansive presence of life a new consciousness, expanded consciousness, through your perspective and felt experience. Expansion drives all of creation. All of life is compelled to develop and further itself, and this drive is innate in everything. All manifestations of life are temporary, but the expansion of consciousness is eternal. So, you see, when you live, knowing yourself to be consciousness, then you anchor into the eternal. Once you do, this life becomes a flow within you and around you that you can experience and expand with and from. You co-create with infinite intelligence, the expanding experience of your incarnation. Now, at this time, you have a choice before you. All humans do. The remembering of your eternalness, your divinity, is grounded in the reality in which you are focused. The truth about your true nature is available to you, and knowing this is a game changer. Think of how things changed when the discovery that the earth is round became a given. Or the invention of penicillin. Changes like this can liberate you from things that you felt before were not possible, or were sure to kill you. This knowing of your true eternalness that we are talking of here is exponentially more transformative. There is no need to believe any longer in any way that life is not plastic. Life is plastic, it is malleable, supple, easily changed. 
Your attention is the way you shape and mold your experience. More there, less there, this gives form to the unfolding of your experience which you think of as your life. To live this and to know you are divine, eternal, perpetual and in no need of fixing, healing, cleaning yourself out of anything, or making yourself better, is to claim entirely new potentials for embodiment. A lot of people might have heard this information and might even believe it is so. It is only those of you who live from it and allow that choice to simplify your experience who will pave the way for the new reality by creating it through your lives and your energy presence. All of this, like all things, becomes very clear and simple once you've gotten it. Like all great dilemmas in life, there is a simple insight which then makes everything else just go, poof. It all disappears. If you let yourself live the knowing. If you do, once you begin to live from this pure knowing you discover what an uncomplicated life of immense creativity, love, expansion, and joy your embodiment is. You then realize how incredibly resourced and stable the world is. In this new state, you view life differently. You may still be aware that around you there seem to be storms and people living in drama and what to them feels like a crisis. Some will still portray life as awful and declining. In this more direct, clear relationship to your life here, you will recognize the disorientation of these experiences. In its straightforwardness and thriving, your presence and your life can wake them, and shake them free of the belief that nothing else is possible. That liberation which feels like hope is a great gift. Let that be in your knowing as you carve out new pathways and a happy beginning in the light, as the creator you truly are. We are the Council of Radiant Light.